Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Canon DSLR into a digital pinhole camera. You'll be surprised to hear that with pinhole photography you don't need a lens. You simply shoot the picture through a hole. It's cheap, low tech but lets you create amazingly artistic blurred images of static subjects such as our still life here. To get started you'll need a spare body cap for your camera. A piece of thin metal, a small square piece cut from an aluminium drinks can is ideal, a pin or needle, some scissors, tape, fine sandpaper and a drill. First pop your body cap on a block of wood to protect the surface you're working on and drill a hole in the centre of the cap. This needs to be about 5mm wide. Make sure you file away any loose bits of plastic so that they don't fall off inside the camera body. Use a pin or a needle to make a hole in the centre of the metal square and then use the fine sandpaper to file down the hole so it's nice and smooth. Now tape it to the inside of the body cap, making sure you line the pin hole centrally with a hole in the cap. To make the preparation simpler and for the best results you can use a pre-made laser drilled pin hole which are readily available online. Now it's simply a case of attaching the body cap to your camera and taking some pictures. There are however a few tips you need to know to get the best results. A tripod is essential as a pinhole has a very small aperture which means exposure times are likely to be long, typically several seconds if not minutes. Also you'll have to guess the shutter speed as your camera's exposure meter won't be able to calculate a good exposure through the pinhole. So switch your DSLR to manual mode and start off with settings of about 5 seconds at ISO 200. A spot of guesswork is needed for the composition at first, so take some test shots and refine the settings until you get a good looking exposure and composition. As we're shooting a still life indoors, we're going to use some off camera flash to add a bit of depth and vibrance. Simply switch the flash to manual mode at a quarter power and point it towards the subject, making sure it's not in the shot. Then flash multiple times during the exposure using the test button from slightly different angles depending on the effect you want. For our setup, three flashes at a quarter power with a shutter speed of 8 seconds worked out perfectly. So why don't you put your DIY skills to the test and make your own pinhole camera?